Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you how to achieve heatless bandana curls. Now I have been seeing everyone doing these with bathrobe belts and I figure I don't have a bathrobe belt so I figure I'd use what I do have on hand which is bandana. So what you're going to want to do is go ahead and wet your hair with a spray bottle of water and brush out all of the tangles. Part your hair however you normally wear it. Um, I usually wear mine off to the side and if you're wondering why I look so tired, it was almost 1 o'clock when I was recording. It's 1 o'clock in the morning. So, um, What you want to do is twist and wrap it around. Twist away from your face. Wrap it around the bandana. Pull it through. And then twist, adding more hair. I'm trying to get close to show you how to do it. Um, and then pull it back down and through the bandana. And make sure you don't go too heavy on the water. Um, I kind of did toward the back and um, the curls were still a little bit damp when I woke up the next morning. But all you do is you just keep twisting and adding hair and until you get to the back. And then once you get to the back, you just twist all the way and wrap around all the way until you're out of hair and then bobby pin the end of it um, to the back of your head. You'll see. I'll show you when I get back there. But This is so easy to do and actually it's very, very comfortable to sleep in. Sock curls are not easy to sleep in. They hurt my head and I really don't care for them. So this probably is going to be my new favorite method for um, skipping out on using heat on my hair so I don't damage my hair so much. Um, and it's, this is a really pretty way to do your hair for long hair. So, just continuing on adding and wrapping. And now I'm out of hair to add, so I'm just going to continue twisting these pieces and wrapping them around the bandana at the back. And you can see there, I'm getting, I just keep doing this until the tail end of it gets short and then once I've run out of hair that can actually wrap all the way around, I bobby pin the hair in. So that way it secures it so it doesn't come undone during the knot. And also I apologize about the lighting and the camera angle. So there we go. Our hair is wrapped all the way around and secured in with bobby pins. And now it's time to go to sleep. So it's next morning and you've got to be careful with this part. You don't want to ruin your curls. Remove your bobby pins and carefully remove the curls from the hair. And um, the daylight here was perfect for this section. It just looks so good here. The lighting did. So just carefully unravel your hair from the back, starting from the back all the way towards the front of your head. And this method works so good. I don't want to call these messy. They've been more like messy curls. They're not really uniform or anything like that. It's like waves. Kind of like boho waves. I really, really, really love how this turned out. Um, and if you want more stain power, you could always use a mousse or something. Um, but yeah, this method worked out fantastic. <coughs> And it's really driving me crazy because my hair isn't parted perfectly there. <laughs> but as you can tell, this just worked out so, so well. Okay, and I start laughing here because my hair starts to look like worms. I don't know. I thought it was really funny. It looked like worms to me. I Don't even ask me why because it just did. But... Now start breaking apart your curls um, and you don't want to brush them. You just want to break them apart with your fingers um, and take your time doing this and styling it the way you want. Um, you really don't want to go too crazy with these. These curls did seem more delicate than other um, heatless methods I've used. So, and especially in the back where I used too much water, um, it was still damp. So I had to baby that section a lot so I didn't mess it up. But um, there was a lot that was stuck together. I still needed to break apart a lot more off camera. Um, so you still got to tease it and style it and stuff the way you want. 
And also, I wanted to say, if you wanted the curls or the waves to be higher up, you could always place the bandana higher up on your head. Um, it just all depends on how you want it to look. So the higher you go, the more volume. But here is here is the curls and how they look. They're kind of just wavy and pretty. Um, and now I'm going to add some volume because I felt like the top part of my hair was very, very flat. And um, I just wanted to tease it some to give it some volume. I'm actually going to use some dry shampoo here too because my hair is a little bit dirty, but um, I really, really loved how this turned out. And I accidentally dropped my, my comb there, so. Just go ahead and tease it and style it how you want. I was almost tempted to do a half up, half down hairstyle, but I didn't want to. I wanted to show how the curls looked, so. But yeah, this is the perfect method so far that I've found for curls for me so it's really easy to do it didn't take any time at all um, it's way quicker than sock curls and it's way quick, quicker than pin curls so um, if you're looking for something easy to do this I would really recommend it but yeah that's the finished look I was really really happy with how this turned out um, just a cute cute boho wavy hair look and yeah, thank you all for watching. Um, I hope this helped you all achieve some heatless curls that were easy. And there is how it looks towards the bottom. I will see you all in my next video. See ya.